What if you could transform your voice to sound like a professional pop singer or rapper? What would that do for your music? Well, that day has kind of come, and I'm going to share with you this new vocal generative AI technology that is going to disrupt the music industry. Basically, this software allows you to transform your vocals into another singer or rapper stylistically. You can even transform male vocals into female vocals. We're going to go deep in this video, and I'm going to give you tips on how to best use this software to make pro sounding music with both singing and rapping to see how good it actually is. Be prepared to have your mind blown. This AI vocal technology is called Automy, and it's not a plugin or some software you have to install. Instead, it's a website where you go to find a virtual vocalist that you want your vocals to sound like. Automy then transforms your voice or someone else's voice into a singer of your choosing, and then you download the file to replace those scratch vocals in your session. I was skeptical, very skeptical, till I heard how good it was. And by the way, Automy is sponsoring this video and they gave me access to this vocal software so I could check it out for all of you guys. But as always, you have my word that everything I say in this video is my honest opinion. Let's generate some AI vocals, shall we? Now there are three important steps that you need to get right to get the best sounding AI vocals. Step one, you have to do a good job recording the vocal takes. This software isn't currently designed to just make you into a better singer. It's literally to completely change your vocals stylistically into another vocalist. As they say, crap going in is crap coming out. But that might change in the future. Wait, I can, I can do that better. Step two is to clean up the vocal file as much as you can. Raw vocals tend to sound the best when you're using their software. So don't over compress your vocals, just do a few dB of gain reduction. You also need to make sure to get rid of any plosives that you have in your recording. Set up a high pass filter at like 80 hertz or something, and that will get rid of all those subsonic rumbles. Finally, we wanna make sure that we keep the audio dry, meaning no reverb or delay effects. And obviously you wanna minimize background noise as much as possible. I think EQ and DSing are probably fine, but remember the algorithm is gonna to try to recreate all these details, including any background noises. So whatever's in there is gonna be transformed if you want it or not. Step number three, please go easy on the pitch correction or autotune. That will always add strange artifacts to the vocals that might not translate well to an AI voice. You can always do the autotuning after you've generated the new voice. Now that you have your tracks cleaned up, you now upload them to the Automy website. They do offer free accounts so that you can try this out before you buy it, but you will need a paid account if you want to release your songs online. But you can always just sign up for a month and get that license, just saying. But real talk here, the monthly plan costs almost nothing compared to hiring a real vocalist. And it's also just a nice way to support the developers at Automy because they're actually people and not robots. Unlike what your voice is going to turn into. So let's go upload our vocals. Now after you make an account, all you have to do is log in and then drop your audio file right here. This is what we've uploaded. Ready to die, I hear the cry. Now I chose this vocalist because he's got like really powerful vibrato and I think it's gonna be kind of hard for AI to recreate all that stuff, but we'll see. You have the option of adjusting the pitch. So if your generated voice is too high or too low, you can come here and adjust that. I recommend just trying a different vocal model because this can add some artifacts sometimes. Now the fourth and final step is actually the fun part. This is where we get to pick our favorite AI vocalist. To do that, you just come up to this drop down window here, and then you get to pick from all of the different vocal models. So, if you want to just preview what they sound like, you can just click on their little image. Been living this life so, patient. so, just go through it and see if you think a certain vocal style is going to sound really good for your song. We'll just stick with Austin, it sounds like this. I'm really curious to hear this song sang in a falsetto. And then you hit convert. A few moments later, you're gonna get the converted file right on this right side here under the output section. And it's gonna hold on to the last five so that you can kind of jump between them and see which ones are your favorite. And then to download the generated AI vocal file, we just click on this little download button. 
So I already went ahead and picked from a bunch of different vocalists. So I chose Mark, which is one of their new voice models. It's like a male pop vocalist. Zane is actually a hip hop rapper. So that's going to be really interesting to hear what that sounds like. Kind of like a Drake style vocalist. Austin, we just heard that's the falsetto male vocalist. Aston is basically like a Haley Williams sound, like Paramore. So it's a female vocal, but strong belting range. And then Demi is also going to be a strong belter, but a female vocalist. Okay, so let's hear the input again, and then I'm gonna jump over to the AI voices, and this is this is absolutely crazy. Ready to die, I hear the cry. All right, let's see how good the robots can do at generating a new voice based on that input. Here we go. Let's start with Mark. Ready to die, I hear the cry. The sky turns black. That's. That's pretty good. What I'm surprised about is that they got the vibrato right, and then also that really long, drooping note. So let's check out Zane, who's a hip-hop vocalist. Ready to die, I hear the cry. Sounds a little weird to me, but that's probably because that is completely out of the range of Zane. And stylistically, it's complete mismatch. Let's go and generate a new Zane. And now let's pitch it down an octave, which is 12 semitones, and see if it sounds better. Ready to die, I hear the cry, the sky turns black. I mean, I think it does sound a lot better, but I wouldn't choose this voice model for this song. This kind of has more of like a chill vibe to it, and this, this song is really high energy. All right, let's go on to the female vocals. So we have Aston, and I'm really curious how this is going to work having a male vocal as the input file, and then having it converted to a female vocalist. Ready to die, I hear the cry. <laughs> so the sky turns black. That is nuts. Uh, I can't believe it's that good. Like, it sounds like a female vocalist. I can't wait to put this back in the session and see how different the song feels. All right, let's go on to Demi. Ready to die, I hear the cry. The sky turns black. Wow, that's awesome. There is a little bit of this, like, breath artifact in the very beginning. Ready to it's really subtle, but that might be something you want to watch out for when you're cleaning up your vocal tracks. So you might need to remove a breath or two to generate a super clean sounding AI vocal. I'm just going to download all these and let's go load them into a session. All right, so here is the song with the original vocal. I have this dumb look on my face because I'm so excited to bring in all these vocals that are not even real people. You ready? ready to die, hear the cry. Ready to die, hear the cry. The sky turns black. The sky turns black. Dude, Mark crushing it all right sounds pretty believable to me oh my god <laughs> i hope the band doesn't hear this let's see what zane sounds like that low-key hip-hop dude if he was the lead vocalist here we go now again that's a total bad mismatch for this track except what if we used zane as a background harmony to the lead vocal Let's try that, because I think that would work really well. And let's hear what it sounds like when we blend the original real human voice with this generated hip-hop dude. Here we go. Ready to die, I hear the cry. Let's lower it a little bit more. The sky turns black. See, that's how I would use this. You can generate vocal harmonies from your lead vocal track and then tuck them into your mix to give it a more real and full sound. That way you're not just like pitching up and down your own voice. You can actually make it sound like another human being is there. This is a really cool tool. All right, what if we decided to fire the vocalist and then bring on Haley Williams? So let's bring the AI vocalist Aston to sing on behalf of our vocalist. Here we go. Ready to die.
that sounds really good. There's a little bit of an accent that it picked up as well, this AI vocalist, right? Like, I feel she's Oh, that's cool, man. I want to hear what a duet would sound like. Ready to die, hear the cry. Dude, that sounds awesome. Let's bring her up a little bit. All right, let's bring the pop vocalist in, the female pop voice. Here we go. You guys in Demoralize, I think you should consider hiring a female vocalist. And you guys can do cool duets like this. <laughs> that is fun. All right, so let's check out some of the rapping vocal models that they have. Let's upload our input track. All right, this is what it sounds like. But a man's supposed to be tough with a face like don't approach me. Got a body and I hardly know it. There are a lot of auto-tune artifacts in this, but stylistically, that's what the artist wanted. So that's what we have to feed into this. So let's go and see how Ray sounds. Ray is one of their rapping voice models. Let's hear what it sounds like. Hugging my brothers, I say that I love them, but I don't swing that way. <laughs> the man them celebrate E. This is going to sound ridiculous. All right, so let's generate that one. While that's going, we can keep looking. You don't have to just wait for that to finish processing. So let's go find Zane. Here we go. Process this one. Okay, so now we got Zane and Ray going. Now, just for good measure, this is a very, very high voice for the lead vocal. So let's just pitch this down an octave. So we're going to go down 12 semitones just because their vocal range is much lower. This is probably going to give us a better match stylistically for their voices. So we'll just go and convert it ahead of time. Now let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? Let's get some female vocals. Let's try Ariel. She's got a hip hop voice. So we'll put this back up to zero. Okay, convert. Let's try Nia. Ever, 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 ever be your side chick. I put this thing. She's got some attitude. And what about Jacob? And baby, I'll be moving on. Okay. That's like a Justin Bieber kind of voice. Let's uh, try that. I think that's a good range for this track. Awesome. So let's go ahead and let's download these and get them loaded up in our session. Now, something to be aware of is that when you download the files, they might not be at the same sample rate as your session. So in this case, these were all at 40,000 hertz. But you're going to need to convert that to your session sample rate, okay? Cubase, it's really easy. I just go to convert files and just set it to our session rate, which is 48 kilohertz. And then I'm just going to have it replace the files. And then we're done. So here is the session. This is what the song sounds like with the original human vocals. Check it out. Sometimes I wake up feeling kind of lonely. So the one vocalist I think might sound awesome in this is going to be Nia. That's that like female hip hop vocal. Here we go with AI Nia. Sometimes I wake up feeling kind of lonely. <laughs> I want to get out of bed. I need a bed. Just a homie. Gotta keep my feelings low. Kick that, that is awesome. I feel like Nia needs to come in on like the second verse as a feature. And you could literally do that. You could just rap the second verse and then do the voice swap with Nia. I don't even know anymore. Let's see what Jacob sounds like. That's that Justin Bieber male vocal. Sometimes I wake up feeling kind of lonely. Don't want to get out of bed. I need a bed just a homie. Sometimes I'm fed up. That works. You could you could layer this to make the vocals sound a little bit thicker on the chorus. Man, this is wild. Let's hear Ariel. That actually has like a little bit of swag in it. I'm kind of digging it. Man, so many options here. Let's hear Ray. Sometimes I wake up feeling kind of lonely. And I'm putting it out the bed. I need a bed just a homie. That's kind of believable. I, I dig it. We also pitched the voice down an octave and then ran it through Ray again. Let's hear that version. Gotta keep my feelings low, key Oh, okay. Sometimes I wake up feeling kind of lonely and I'm putting it out the bed. I need a bed. Now, this is one of those happy moments where you wrote the song in an octave higher melody, but it sounds pretty dope in the lower octave. And all it took was me to generate Ray an octave lower to kind of discover that there's this cool spot that we could maybe take the song if we wanted. That's cool. That's really awesome. 
And I bet it would work good with the human voice. Let's bring it back. Sometimes I wake up feeling kind of lonely. And I don't want to get out the bed. I mean, you could use that like a vocal effect. And no one would be able to figure it out. Because it's actually a voice and it's not like auto-tune or something. I'm going to do all this stuff. One final thing. Let's just take all these voices and just pan them all over the place and see how it sounds. See if we can use it to like really thicken up the track. Maybe that could be another like cool effect where it sounds like there's a chorus of people. Here's all of them. Sometimes I wake up feeling kind of lonely. Don't want to get out the bed. I need a bed. Yes, I hold me. So I wake up feeling kind of lonely. Don't want to get out the bed. I need a bed. Yes, I hold me. So now a lot of DJs and other producers are using Automy to make covers sound especially unique. So if you can get a hold of the original acapella, you can transform it any way you want. Some other things you can consider doing is using Automy to take a vocal sample that you got either on the internet or in a sample pack and make it unique. Or finally, just like how I showed in this video, you can use Automy to take the lead vocal and then generate background vocals or harmonies from that. Now, if you're a producer or songwriter, I think this platform would be absolutely insane for you because then you could take any scratch vocal and transform it into many different vocal styles to see what works best for your song. Now, as you saw in this video, getting that input track right to feed it into Automies is really, really important. It completely determines the quality you're going to get on the output side. Now, if this is something you want to take seriously and you want to learn the best way of editing vocals, whether that's tuning or timing, take a look in the description because I have a course that's going to walk you through step by step exactly how to edit vocals. It will teach you literally everything you need to know to transform an okay performance to a professionally polished one. Also, download my free vocal delay secrets guide. It's going to teach you exactly how I add that extra layer of space and depth to my mixes. That is my free gift to you. Automy is probably one of the most fun creative tools I've used in a long time. So if you like what you saw, just go to their website and make a free account and start experimenting with the different voice models. These guys are not going away and their technology is only going to get better with time. My name is Bobby Balo and I'm the mixing and mastering engineer at Rayton Productions and I'll see you in another video.